Hey, if you are new here, my name is Tarun and I am finally a student at IIT Kharagpur. And I have to tell you that I live more than half of my school life in a hostel to prepare for that one damn examination that you are now preparing for. And I've lived my past five years of life with people who actually cracked that examination. So in this two video series with all the knowledge that I and my teammates from other IITs have gathered over years of hard work, I'm going to talk about everything that you have to know and everything that you need to follow to crack IIT JE with a really good rank. So without wasting any more time, let me tell you what's there in the series. First things first we'll be going through the syllabus of each and every subject and then we'll be seeing the weightage of the specific chapters and then we'll talk about the best books that you need to follow in order to crack IIT JE for all the three subjects and after that we'll be talking about the entire timeline to finish your entire syllabus and we'll also discuss about how you can make the best daily timetable and trust me this is going to be a game changer and at the end of the series we'll be talking about some of the most important things that a lot of students miss out while preparing for IIT JE. In simple words, by the end of this series, you'll know everything that you need to know from what to study to how to study. You'll have the entire roadmap for IIT JE. The first step in the plan is to understand the syllabus properly. Listen, a lot of students actually miss out on this. And that's why they finally make very inefficient plans which end up wasting a lot of time going forward. But if you are aware of the syllabus which is exclusive for JE mains and JE advanced, you can actually save a lot of time. Let's get started with physics. This image that you see on the screen right now is the entire syllabus. Go back two seconds and take a screenshot of it because you can refer to it later. A lot of people actually get scared of physics but I don't know, I just love it. Okay, so now as you have taken the screenshot of that entire syllabus, here's the image on the screen which is right now in front of you which has the weightage of individual chapters in JE mains. See, this actually keeps changing in every single year in every single paper but just use it like a reference, right? And take a screenshot of it right now. And I could have actually made a PDF and attached them in the description below but I actually want you to put that extra effort to taking screenshots and saving them. Cool. Now I'll give you one minute no matter if you're sitting on your sofa, lying on the bed or standing in the ground. Doesn't matter. Just wake up from there and get a piece of paper and a pen. Note everything that I'm going to say from now. Ready? Modern physics is easy and also has like a good number of questions in every single question paper. And talking about the best books for physics, these are some of the best IIT JE physics books that you can follow for year preparation. The first one is the Physics Galaxy books. Second one, Fundamentals of Physics by Halliday Resnick Walker, the IIT JE edition. But if you are using the international version of this, then get your IIT JE syllabus printed and only study the topics which are mentioned over there. Number three, we have Pathfinder. This is for JE Advanced. And finally, we have IE Irido. This is also for JE Advanced. But if you are just targeting JE mains, listen to the class as well, finish your coaching material, finish HC Verma and finish the MCQ questions in Singage Physics. And that's it. You'll be good to go. And also some of my friends say that Alihan series is also good but I've personally never been a fan of it. But I'd still say that books are very personal. You might like or might not like the most popular book. So what I'd say is that try out a bunch of books in the beginning of your IDJ preparation and then stick with one book for the rest of your preparation. Whatever you like the most. Cool. Now let's get to chemistry, right? For chemistry, you need to remember that theory part is the king. And unlike other two subjects, chemistry has three different blocks and needs three different ways of preparation. Most of you might have already had an impression that organic chemistry is going to be difficult or maybe inorganic chemistry doesn't make sense at all. We do one work. We take the institute of inorganic class of individual class. Okay. What will happen with that? What will happen with that? There's no problem with teachers. In this case, but forget it, if you have any such impressions in your mind, remove them right now. Because with a preoccupied mind, you learn nothing. I agree that organic chemistry might seem difficult. Even I used to feel it. But with enough practice, organic chemistry can become your strength for JE Advanced. I'll give you the list of the books that can help you do that. But before that, here's the syllabus. Take a screenshot of it. And now, here is the weightage of these chapters. And talking about the best books for chemistry, we have three parts. Firstly, for inorganic chemistry, just remember every single line of your NCRT. Like every single line. You just need to read and read and read and read inorganic chemistry ka NCRT so many times that if I tell you a specific sentence, you should be able to tell me which page, which line it is there in, even when you're sleeping. And once you get perfect with inorganic ka NCRT, you can go to your class notes, read it, and then pick up a book like Concise Inorganic Chemistry for JE Advanced by J.D. Lee or Inorganic Chemistry by O.P. Tandon. Anything works but only after you remember every line of your NCRT. And for organic chemistry, finish your class notes 
notes properly and then go through the ncrt a couple of times and then start solving your coaching material and after you finish it you can pick up any book like advanced organic chemistry by himanshu pande ms chauhan organic chemistry by clayden and introduction to organic chemistry by peter sykes but still ms chauhan is one of the most trusted books almost like 15 out of 20 people around here suggest that one and for physical chemistry listen to the class well make your notes memorize the formulas start solving your coaching material and then pick up a book and start solving it as well physical chemistry by narendra vasti is like strongly recommended but you can also follow atkins physical chemistry by peter atkins university chemistry by bruce h mahan mahan jobia remember international books so you should not waste time studying or solving questions which are not there in syllabus you should be very precise with this thing talking about more books for physical chemistry there's a mixed opinion on p bahadur and rc mukherjee so i suggest you to try them out and try it for yourself but if you ain't got time to try out different set of books then directly pick up the physical chemistry book by Narendra Vasti. That should be good to go. Clear? Now in the next two minutes, let's talk about mathematics. Some students love maths, but some students actually hate it. But during the recent years, mathematics has become one of the deciding factors for a better rank. And also you know this, right? If two people get same number of marks, then maths ka marks would be compared. And long story short, when I used to prepare for IITJ, I used to love physics, but I was not so much interested in mathematics. But only after spending five years at IIT Kharagpur studying mechanical engineering, I actually understood that the core of physics is mathematics. The research and development of a lot of parts of physics is slow or stagnant because we don't have the capabilities to solve the governing complex mathematical equations. That's for some other day but now without wasting any more time, here's the syllabus of mathematics. And this image that you see on the screen right now shows the weightage of chapters. Cool. Now let's talk about the chapters that will boost your score. So grab your pen back and start writing. Coordinate geometry and integral calculus contribute to a good number of questions. But oftentimes these questions are usually lengthy or they're tricky. So you need to be very fast and accurate while solving them. Topics like limits, quadratic equations, statistics, sets and relations, and mathematical reasoning. These chapters are very easy to learn. And every year, good number of questions keep coming from these chapters as well. So mind this, just get done with these chapters. Cool. So now you might ask, Tarun, in that case, everyone would be able to solve these chapters. How would I, a person like, you know, a match stopper in my class, get competitive advantage above others? Huh? Simple. Calculus. Calculus is the part where questions are a bit lengthy, tricky, tough, whatever you want to just call it. But if you want to get competitive edge above others, if you're like a match stopper in your class, in that case, do this. So now what about reference books for maths? So you can actually book any of the books from Singer series, Aryan series, Black Book by Vikas Gupta, any of this, they'll be good to go. But even before these, your coaching materials are going to be very important. So first finish your coaching materials and then pick any one of these books. I personally did not like Aryan series though. But if you're someone who's preparing, who's aiming for like really good rank in JE Advance, you should definitely try out Black Book. <sighs> Man, so much of information, right? Are you still here? Are you alive? If yes, if you are still here, if you are still following the video, I want you to go to the comments below and ask any doubts that you have about whatever we discussed till now. And I promise that I'll definitely reply to them and try my best to solve your doubts. Pause the video right now, go ask your doubts right now. So now as we are done with the syllabus, important topics and the best books for each of these subjects, let's get to the next most important set of things. The first one, the best two year entire timeline for your JE preparation, the best daily schedule to maximize your potential and some of the most important things that every student has to remember so that they don't end up wasting two years of their preparation. I've covered all these three points in the next part of this video series as I thought this video is getting lengthy and that second part is going to be released tomorrow at 5.44 pm sharp and once it gets released you can also click here or here to watch the same video chalo i'll see you there click here here bye bye